Let's look at 15 ways you can monetize your book. Paid content. You could extract content from your book and put it up for sale on these sites. There are many of them out there. These are just a few. Probably you're familiar with Patreon, but did you know buy me a coffee is another way you could post content and ask people to voluntarily contribute. That way you're not making a set price, but you can still get a pay. And you may create a membership site. There is software that can help you do that. You might decide what that membership looks like. You can do it through a website, through Facebook, lots of different places where you can create gated content and have people pay you. Online courses are very popular. I know I've certainly partaken of many different types of learning and online courses are just getting better and better. I'm in a video creation course right now, as well as having taken a course on creating courses. Who knew? But maybe there's something you know how to teach and that is related to your book that could become a course. If you're a business owner, you may be in this category. You might be someone who consults. You could be a coach or a mentor. I'm a mentor and offering support and advice. And that is worth money. Based on your book, is your coaching and mentoring connected? And the next level up. What about those people who want to be in the very, very top tier of what you offer? Maybe they want to work one-on-one. -on -one. Perhaps you've got a VIP mastermind group that is exclusive. So you're not just trading your time for money, but you are being looked at as the premier provider of yes. advice. Live webinars. You can charge for them. Maybe you don't charge a lot. Maybe you do charge a lot. Depends on what you're covering and who your audience is. But you can get paid for hosting a live webinar. You can create a video course, a tutorial. You can have an entry level group of videos that lets people get to know you. And then you can have a more extensive video course. We all were beginners at some point. Are there people in your audience who need the basics? Look at your book, look at what is in there, and could you extract, again, extract a beginner's guide that walks people through how to use your content? Or templates. You have a workflow, a system, and other people don't want to go through all the pain of figuring it out, and you have done that, you can offer templates for sale. Excel, Word, in Canva, all kinds of places. So maybe that fits for what you provide. And how about this? One of my friends, Gordon Burgett, has always pre-sold every book he has created. If there is a trade association, if there is a business group, if there is a particular company, you could adapt your content, customize it, and charge a premium price for it. Be a guest. I just completed the most amazing free training I have ever been involved with. Nancy Juton did nine days of how you can use podcasting, guest, being a guest on a podcast or podcast to raise your visibility and broadcast your brilliance. I love it. So are you taking advantage of the surge in interest with podcasts and are you showing up as a guest 
Remember that email list I spoke about? Market to your list. Let them know the different kinds of services or products you have available and use your email marketing to its fullest. Now, you're not being salesy. You're simply saying, if you've got this problem, this might be for you. Check it out. And expand your brand. That's really the core of my message. If you've got a book, do you have an audio version of it? Do you have other tools and merchandise that relate to your brand? One of the best stories I ever heard, Steven, Spiels, Steven Spielberg was negotiating when he made the first Star Wars movie with Disney. And they are tough negotiators. I happen to know because I did some contract work for a company that provided work to them. And when it got down to the negotiations, one of the things that he asked for and got in his contract was the rights to merchandise. They didn't know what was going to happen. They didn't know all those action figures and clothing and you name it were going to show up. So hundreds and thousands of dollars, or I should say millions of dollars, were the result of merchandising. If people like your book, they might want to wear it. Or maybe you've got a journal, a notebook. Think about your content, your audience, and what would they like? And how can you expand your brand? And another way to expand your brand, if you don't already have an audiobook, why the heck not? Audiobooks have just gone off the chart. And the beauty of an audiobook, I listen to my iPad, uh, my iPhone. I listen to books on my iPhone, on my iPad. I can listen to them anywhere. I can take that book anywhere with me. And I love listening to nonfiction. I love listening to fiction. The cost of creating an audiobook is getting lower and the reach is getting bigger. So if you have a book, check out turning that book into an audiobook. And even if there are charts and graphs associated with your book, you can include in your audiobook description, here's where to go to get those charts and graphs. Joint ventures. Somebody else is in the marketplace and you share a common community. Do something with somebody else. You can share the marketing responsibilities. You can share the responsibilities of putting together the joint venture and reap the rewards. And usually you're splitting that 50-50. And sometimes you're doing a joint venture with someone who has an established audience and you're new and they give you instant credibility. I am inviting you to sign up for Author Spotlight. I'd like to interview you, find out about you, your book, and your business. And this Author Spotlight will provide you with a video. It'll demonstrate that you are a good guest, that you know how to, you know your way around an interview, and it's a way to gain visibility for your book. I'm Judy Baker, book marketing mentor, and I'm here to help you get more bang for your book. And tomorrow, we're going to be talking about what did you wish you knew at the beginning that you know now after you've written and published your book? I'll see you tomorrow and you can find me at 
book, marketingmentor.com.